There we go. Ahoy everyone who has been joining. <laughs> Ahoy everyone on YouTube who was joining in just for this. And despite everything, I still forgot to freaking change the title like I said I would. So give me a second on that. Uh, yep. There. Yep. Wait, did I? Okay, I just noticed that I, I did a stupid with the title last time as well. I guess I forgot to remove the Blast Brigade stuff. Okay. There and there. And let me put in another tag here. Okay, why are there so many misspellings of first playthrough among the tags? You'd think those clean those up. They'd clean those up sometime. But yeah, welcome to Rainbow Redemption, a fan remade version or fan re-release of Rayman One. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, totally unofficial. Nothing officially done with to do with uh, Ubisoft and such. <clears throat> and yeah, available totally for free if you just look around on the internet for a bit. And oh, yeah. Dear. The reason that we're doing this game uh, is because, well, we streamed most of the other Rayman games, primarily the ones with story, or only the ones with story, even if it was a bit thin with some of them, like uh, Legends, but still. And yeah, this the, the main thing that this offers for me, that, for me to lean in with it, uh, not there, it doesn't respond to the D-pad, it only responds to the stick is the fact that we can play this on an easy mode, which, well, won't send us back to the start of the whole game if we run out of lives. So it's a lot more forgivable, or forgiving, then. Also, it has more quality of life stuff over here. Uh, hold for helicopter, hold for run. We can even change the font style. So let, let's be honest, this looks a lot more charming. Yeah. Uh, quick uh, this respawn. is the only Rayman game I actually played. Uh, like, I played the original. Okay. Um, bloody mm -hmm. heck, it was difficult. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the reasons why I just didn't touch it. Uh, the resolution here... Uh, okay, that was unexpected. Um... Uh, <laughs> give me a second on this whilst I fix this with uh, Borderless Gaming. Uh, show... Let's move that off to the side here. Okay, just redoing that should fix it. Yeah, let's give it a moment to unscrew itself. There we go. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't go it doesn't go bigger than this. Uh, there is a full screen option as you can see, but it will just stretch it. Oh. So then you maybe I'll change. Them. Uh, what let's the heck is that supposed to mean? Not sure, but I'm guessing... Oh, I think it means, like, uh, camera bobbing. Like, going up and down a bit. Uh, like in how games uh, tend to simulate walking and such. Ah! Hmm. Well, let's turn it on for the moment. We can turn it off later. And yeah, maybe... Maybe at some point later, I will put the game in full screen mode will make it easier for me to see things. <clears throat> but for now, let's try it like this. I did a bit of a test run here. And yeah, let's just type in hill. Okay, we have classic difficulty. Uh, lives are limited and you can get a game over. One-up statues grant lives as usual. Demise. One-up statues and big powers are rigged. Checkpoints are gone and you start with less health. Only play in this mode if you're looking for a challenge. And then we have casual, on which we will play. In casual mode, you have infinite lives and can't get a game over. One-up statues grant things, or, or things, instead of lives. There we go. Hi, folks. You want to know what's going on? Let me tell you the story of Rayman. In Rayman's world, nature and people live together in peace. The Great Protoon provides and maintains the harmony and balance in the world. Sorry, folks, this apparently can't last. 
One fateful day, the evil Mr. Dark steals the great protoon and defeats Batilla the fairy as she tries to protect it. The Electoons, who used to gravitate all around it, lose their natural stability and scatter all over the world! Troublesome, isn't it? And untidy, too. In this now unbalanced world, strange phenomena begin to occur. Freaks and hostile characters appear, capturing every Electoon they can find. They definitely need a hero to save them now! Don't you think? Pray man to the rescue! No problem. Go and free the Electoons, Rayman! And bring back the Great Protoon from its mysterious kidnapper! But will the bad guys let him do it? I think the art, I think the timing with that was a bit off, <laughs> but otherwise, <laughs> as charming as as ever. Oh dear! And I'm gonna tell you, accidental random fact that we surprise you. Oh. <laughs> it, you remember the green nymph uh, uh, girl in the origin yeah. game? Mm hmm That was not her first appearance. Yep. It was originally here, she I believe. Yes! Maybe you saw her in the cutscene! Yep. Hmm. No. Quite mm. a wardrobe change, ain't it? Yeah. It, it, it could just be a change of terminology. Like in that, she's supposed to be a nymph, a hero fairy, though it could just be, uh, yeah, just different words for the same thing. And yeah, also fun little. I I think this is probably uh, clear as day, but tech, we are actually seeing this from the point of view of Mr. Dark with all the binoculars. Ah. Mm. Mm. Also, for people who just joined in or are seeing this on YouTube, uh, we need to clear out the ice cream from the fridge, so uh, I've got a. <laughs> I've got quite a bowl of half molten you know, ice cream here that I do need to get rid of. So sorry if that is audible on the mic a few times. <clears throat> anyway, let's get started. And yeah, since we're playing in casual modes, this game should be a lot more doable since we don't risk getting an actual game over, as in having to start again from the very, very start. That's how... Uh, <laughs> that's how <clears throat> game overs used to be. Okay, walk and jump around with the movement keys. You can customize the controls and the options. I'm using an Xbox controller. And, uh, yeah, very, very colorful game, huh? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, I only... I did that really on... Uh, <laughs> out of habit, but I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to have uh, the helicopter ability yet. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if we can meet the fairy for... But when I read the look that they, they, they wanted the same character, it's rather yawing to see the entire wardrobe shift. You can grab ledges and reach higher areas by jumping while ha hanging on the ledge. Okay. There. Okay. No climbing up the ledge. We you just have to straight up jump the ledge. Okay. I think I may have played a version of the original game here, but well, as expected, I could never get any far in it, if I'm even remembering things correctly. Now you can cross large gaps with a running start. Press the jump button while in the air to begin hovering. Okay, so it might be part of... I beg your pardon, Captain? Okay, I was trying around for which button is run. Uh, which button is actually run? 
Trigger, trigger, shoulder. Okay, shoulders are crawl in a specific direction. Hmm. Crawling can be done with the stick down as well. Let's see. Hmm. A is jump, of course. X is attack. Y does nothing. That's an idle animation. And yeah, B is that. <laughs> Which didn't see a return until Rayman 3, huh? <laughs> what button is to run? Uh... Okay, yeah. Let me track... Check, uh... uh... No. Extras. Visitant skin, checkpoints... What? What? Okay. That's definitely not something that was in the original, I think. Oh, 24 possible skins. Okay. Uh, let's see. Run. R2. Okay. Uh, that's not... Okay, I think it, it's my... It's, think, it's thinking of... Uh, <clears throat> it, it's thinking of a PlayStation controller, which makes sense. But it doesn't work for us. Yeah. Uh, she was like, I played this on the PC. Okay. This made the controls even harder for me. Did not know the, all the controls. Hmm. Okay, I might need to swap to keyboard then. Uh, it doesn't react to the triggers. Uh, hmm. Um, hmm. Wait, if, can I, I can put that to that. Okay, that's there now. Okay, now we have a run. Okay, that might get a bit awkward though, since I have to hold it down and then jump with the same finger. Yeah! Hmm. Okay. I have heard that the platforming in this game can be really tricky at some point. Oh, that's not a, an under... No, 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 that is an understatement. It can be extremely tricky. Yeah, I, I just hope... Uh, that is... I just hope that it doesn't uh, get too difficult for me. But yeah, if if we do get to a point where we just get absolutely stuck, uh, then yeah, I might I consider stopping with the rest of the game. Also, that's our checkpoints. Wait, what? All right. Oh, yeah, I remember them. Nope. Can we reach that in some way? Let's see. These guys are too I small just... for us to hit. Is there a way for us to I get there? I just remember something. Nope. You, you, you know the potion you just beat up? Yep. They look like a um, tall mushroom. Yeah, a familiar face. Some of the kids had a nickname for them. Should I even ask? It, it's basically... Uh, I don't know what this mushroom is called in English. But... Uh, I think the mushroom is called in Swedish Carl Johan Swamp. <laughs> and uh, it's also, that mushroom is also happened to become a slang for phallus. Okay, if we can hit that mushroom down, it was, oh, no, that's just the exit. Okay, but yeah, there was more behind it if there. we jumped there. over, I guess. Yeah, we could have gotten the electrons down below. And yeah, 
<laughs> Again, these plums would make a return in Rayman 3. Actually, in Rayman 2 as well. And yeah. yeah, we can do the same thing with them as there. Can we... Wrong way. Yeah, we can hit these on... <laughs> towards us as well on accident. There. I recognize that sound effect. That's a basketball. <laughs> yep. Yep. Can we... Hmm. Maybe if we had a higher jump. I want to see if we can land this thing on the poacher's head. Oh no, you should have something else. As a kid, I didn't okay. know bye bye. that mushroom was uh, supposed to be a slang for the phallus. I assume, assume now it's realized with the... I was probably very clueless back then. The heck the, some of the kids were talking about. Okay. Wait. Uh, wait. Do you they really have move? to do a green shot there? Okay, apparently they will just uh... move to where I'm aiming. Not sure if that is from casual mode, because I'm pretty sure in the original you had to point in the opposite direction. Also, hello, Junior. Bye-bye, Junior. Can I? Yes, I can do that from here. Okay, that does mean that uh, I would have been able to hit the the plumb down on the other in the previous level. Nothing above. Okay. Okay, it was for a second I was going to ask if the music was just going to die off. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh -oh. <laughs> bye bye. Don't. Not sure if those ever saw a return. Hmm. I think they <laughs> did, but they with a slight different appearance, like everyone else uh, back then. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we can steer the hand somewhat by jumping or ducking. There. I guess you could say the only one I can see so far did not really make a return is the smaller ones. Yeah. And maybe yep. those <laughs> weird... Oh, I almost forgotten this. <laughs> okay, I think we want to make use of the plums, so as funny as that is, <laughs> let's not. Are you sure that's a plum to begin with anymore? There. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the, the fist upgrade gives it more range. But even then we can charge up the shots to get even more range. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. I should, yeah, I should make use of the run button now that I actually know it has one. For a sec, I thought for a second that uh, we got hit there. No, I, I saw one. Oh, no, you're behind those, of course. Okay, yeah, I was wondering where the heck did that bullets come from? There. Okay. Anywhere we're sending this thing specifically. Yep. Actually, we can probably put it in the water here. Okay. Okay, just, just hearing that silly little sound. Nice try. Okay. Let's move on. Oop. Okay, there's more shooters in the jungle. Can I get you? No, just too far away. There. Okay. I do believe we can put those on spikes as well. There. 
Okay, and that's our first batch of Electoons freed. Now, I uh, wish I could zoom down a bit lower, and I could see where that plum ended up there. Because Rayman can't actually swim here. Hello? Okay, some sort of fragment of something? I don't recall it was at all. Hmm. Oh, there's a... There's a one-up statue there. Let's quickly grab that. Okay. Let's move on. Yeah! There she Hello. is. You had to admit, that's quite a... Yeah, different the wardrobe. Hmm. Yeah, assuming that Batilla the fairy and Batilla the nymph are the same character. Is they <clears> are, are apparently. Okay. Maybe someday we can finally see a, a, a return of Lee the fairy. Hello, Rayman. I'm Batilla uh, the fairy, and I'm going to help you on your quest. You must find the three tune totems and release the prisoners within. They are helpful magical beings who were sealed away by Mr. Dark. The first one is hidden deep in the jungle, guarded by the evil Mosquito. The second one is on the highest peak of the Blue Mountains. The third one is hidden somewhere in the caves of Scops. <laughs> now, do you really think mm, it'll be that easy? Okay, I think this is new. I'm Darktoon, Mr. Dark's right-hand man. He gave me the power to stop you. I'll finish you off before you can even start. Rayman, take this. It will help you defeat him. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely new because I'm pretty sure in the original... We... We did not start off with the ability to hover or the ability to throw punches. Again, this is a fan version of Rayman 1, so yeah, it's more than clear that they put in some changes. Ugh, you're no joke. You may have beaten me this time, but I'll be back. You'll never stop Mr. Dark. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I Drop some of the ice cream there. Oh, hello, what have we here? Magician's Challenges. Okay, that seems new as well. <clears throat> Welcome to my bonus level shop. The more magician tokens you collect, the more levels you will unlock. Okay. Looks like there's a good amount of these. A lot of these. Okay. And yeah, out of six Electune cages, we only got one. <laughs> And it looks like there will be... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing the first mark here is just for completing the level. The second for getting all the Electoons. The third for finding the Magician's Token. And the fourth one for finding the box of the present with whatever is in them. Let's see. The Dream Forest Anguish Lagoon. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Uh... Okay. Oh! Mm. What? You almost got brain freeze from drinking. And yeah, we lost the golden glove power. Or maybe we don't even... Ah, okay. That's a purple lum. We don't have the ability to use that yet. go. Okay, so those will fall away if we're not careful. Get lost, you. Let's see. Golden glove up there. Okay. 
you again. That was a dumb one. There we go. Uh, okay, for a second I thought that would be too easy for a level to end. Uh, let's see, can I... Hmm. Wait, can you interact with the signs? Wait, what? The sign, can you interact with it? Yeah, that's the end of the level. Yeah! Or this part, at uh... least. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, maybe if we have some way of jumping higher, we could have gotten those vines and maybe gotten the uh, power up. Bye bye. There we go. I can't tell if these flower things are new or not. The dancing ones? No, the walking ones here. Once I just sent oh. it to the stratosphere. I'm sure. I, I know that. I, I remember the dancing mushrooms and flowers. Those I remember, but the walking ones. Yep. Hmm. Yep. One of these again. Bye bye, whatever you are. They look like dark electrons. Uh. There. Thank you. Oh. Okay. There. And that's this section. Yeah! Hmm. I'll be confused. Is it reloading a gun by polishing it? Yep. <laughs> okay, nice that the game actually catches me with that. Okay. I'm guessing for each of the uh, extra gloves that we pick up, we can take one more hit until we lose it. Also, hello. Hey, who are you? Stay out of here. This is my home and I don't want any suspicious people here. Get lost or I'll sting you. Um... How? <laughs> with that big snaz of his? It, or it, theirs? I don't think really can sting with that one. <laughs> really? Also, we have seen this thing in later games, even in other, yep. <laughs> in other series. There. Because this thing shows up as one of the animals we can photograph in Beyond Good and Evil. Which had its two twenty... Which, yeah, which, ha which had a 20-year uh, anniversary edition released recently. I'm not yep. sure I've, I've spoke of that on stream before. I think you mentioned it. And also, I think I also mentioned it's on the Switch as well. Yeah. I'm not too sure about streaming that. I've heard that it is mostly just a a re-release. Uh, though there, I have heard that there was a bit of extra content added to it. I wonder if we could hit it mid-charge. Yeah. But, this, yes, we can. Also... This is the thing, I think you can agree with me. More and more people are not trusting Ubisoft. Yeah. Okay, it's speeding up. But it is the first boss, so... Ow. It's still easy enough. Yep. <laughs> Friends forever. And so we start the next part, with a freshly beaten up friend added in. 
<laughs> Oop, those are falling. A bit late with it, but they'll probably, uh, yeah, fall earlier now. I promise. Yeah, I'm not some sort of star fruit, perhaps. Uh, is that a glitch or no? That's an no, oh, that's an upgrade. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's a that's a sound I heard. We heard again in Rayman Three. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I think it was a bit too low and thus um, pushing against the platform. You can stop polishing your quote-unquote rifle. Yeah, definitely some of these sounds are from uh, Rayman 3. Or they or they were originally from this game and <laughs> just reused there. There we go. Oh no. Hmm? It's a pun. What? Or sort of. Yeah! Pole machine the gun or pistol is a. Yes, that's where I was going for with. <laughs> but pe people wondering, it's an old term for masturbation. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> Hello, Batilla. Your quest has only just begun, Rayman. I'm here to help you. If you can break open 10 cages in, in total, I can increase your base health by one. Come back once you've done that. Good luck on your journey. Okay. Uh, the Swamps of Forgetfulness. Okay. And uh, yeah, as should be clear by now, originally Rayman was not the only of his kind. <laughs> the Raisin. <laughs> hey friend, could you help me out a little? Uh, <laughs> What's this? Thanks, and never forget your help. Take this bag of magic seeds as a token of my gratitude. Use the action button to plant them. Oh, look at this rain. The forest is flooding. I gotta go. Good luck. What the... Um... Um... I think he got... I think he got the, uh, the sound effects mixed up. Or it may have been uh, added by the fan, uh, by the fan developers. Yeah, for that was not the tar sounds. That was what... <laughs> Actually, I have heard that something cool, but I haven't heard it in ages. I almost forgot about it until now. Place is actually flooding. Yeah, for people wondering, that's a sound effect of. I'm sure you could call it yodeling. Yeah. That was used a lot in older cartoons. Like Ed, Ed and Eddie? No. Older. Yeah, but I think it was also used in Ed, Ed and Eddie. Well, I would not know for... It's wrong. That time he was basically already... This is almost really, at that time, almost extinct. It, it... Maybe not the best me metaphor there. <laughs> but yeah, when Eddie, Eddie came out, it was already a rare effect. Like, you need to go in to, well, eat these cartoons to hear it. Hmm. Okay, that's the ice cream polished off. Early 90s? Ooh. I forgot to put something underneath it, so there's a bit of uh, water and melt off. Let me just clean up that for a sec. <clears throat> um, there we go. Uh, I want you to take a look at the screen and see what you see. Low hang fruit. I was talking about a gods walking very good sink. Yeah, just because they're poachers doesn't mean they can't be uh, a good dance group. Yep, wrong way. Damn it. Can we get that back by bringing it on uh screen? 
That's oh, a lot response. of tiny ones. No, okay, they don't get crushed by that. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I was kind of hoping they would get crushed. But I think... Hmm. No, no, we just take damage. Hmm. Okay. Let's not hit it on the backswing this time. There we go. And just put this thing across. Yep. Actually, we're a little bit lower, so we can actually hit them. Okay. Must be. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's just a few pick, uh, a few pixels down. But still enough, uh, uh, enough to miss the platform. <laughs> it's enough to hit the little bastards. Yeah, good thing we have infinite lives because I'm definitely going to need them, huh? Yes, take five hundred. Need them. We yeah, need every single one of them. Okay. Why did that pop up all of a sudden? I don't think it popped yeah. up before. Hmm. Curious? Hmm. Just pot pot this thing across, like we're playing one of the pot pot games. There. Might there be something if I get rid of all of them? Maybe not here, but maybe further on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just the, the... The look on this guy's face. He's just so freaking done with life, huh? Yeah... No, wait. There's some spot... Is he drunk? Well, we know that Glowbox gets drunk off of plum juice. Yeah, these are the ankle biters. Okay, so we can identify. Name. Yeah, we can identify which are the, which are the ankle biters, by the ones who are standing still. Hmm. I, I think it's a bit like more than the an the ankle. Can't reach far enough for that. Why did that plum just pop up here? Hmm. Is there something hidden or so? I could have gotten. I could have gone forward more. So I grab onto the. <clears throat> yeah, the grabbable poles. Hmm. Oh. Hello. Okay, that doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, th those things are completely immune to those. Hmm. There is more hidden behind the exit here. Hmm. How do I get that thing moving? Wrong way. <laughs> oh dear. What are we to do with the captain? Let me see if I can hit the guys over there. Now, hmm. hmm. yeah, but it, I can't throw a punch and move on. 
or I don't have enough time to throw a punch and then jump off by the time it has stopped falling. Or, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I... I don't see... Hey, actually, maybe with this we can have enough reach to hit them? <laughs> Everything up the soundboard. There. Yep. Perfect timing! Okay. There must be some reason that that plum shows up there. Hmm. Wait, can we not grab onto those, or... We can grab onto... No, not... Hmm. Okay, me... Maybe, okay, maybe I'm just misidentifying because I think some of those we could grab onto before. Hmm. Either way, let's grab this. And yeah, let's give this one more try, then we just end the level. We just knock this down. Can I hit them from here? No. Maybe I can hit the plum? Yes, I can. Okay. Still take a bit of damage there, but at least I can get rid of them. Hmm. <laughs> Not the time, Rayman. No. Nope. Hmm. Okay, that'll just move on if we jump off. Oop. Be gone. Hmm. Is this going? Yes, this is going to move. Okay, and that's another one of these boxes. And another green piece. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, n still no clue what those are for. Hmm. Okay, now that this level has taken way longer than it really should have, let's move on to the next part. Now, actually, it's not really a full level, but more like a part. Like level one, part two, and such. Oh. Good. If we had a bit more jump. Hmm. Oh. I completely missed the star fruit. I completely overlooked the star fruit, better said. Go there, Captain. Go there. Okay, nice little detail is that this thing doesn't bounce as high when we get onto it. Uh, hello. It's the first of... Okay, you are definitely new. Sure. Like, I'm pretty sure I've never seen that design before. That's actually first there. Hmm. There. Hmm. Now, are we supposed to go to the right or up? Question. Yep. 
Yep, yep, he still threw it. Okay. That's another box. Okay. Can we actually get to one somewhere by going down these? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Jess, how are you doing? Hello, yes, and wait, you played as a shot. You poor thing! Is that the Stockholm Syndrome talking, or do you actually like this game? Also, this is not exactly Rayman 1, this is Rayman Redemption, a fan version of the game. With, uh, yeah, its own little bits and enemies added in as well. Okay, with the reds, uh, with the red bow tie, those platforms will, <clears throat> will, uh, fall away. Oop. With the purple, those will move. Can I...? No. Hmm. Okay, since it's still questionable only if we can get oh, grab onto those, I'm just going to end the level. Otherwise, we'd have lost quite a bit of <laughs> progress there. You know, not too much, but still. Oh. Let's see, Mosquito's oh, Nest. Hi! Now let's see, I loved it, no doubt in it, used to play it like crazy, trying to beat other levels. <laughs> Alright. Before anything... Yeah, I played as a, yeah. on GC as a go. kid and... Read. Okay, uh, this version of the game has quite a bit of quality of life stuff in it. Uh, like, for one, we have infinite lives, so I don't end up uh, breaking my controller in half. Again. No, not again. <laughs> There, that would be a first, and I hope there will never actually be a first of that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. How have you been, Jess? How have you been? Good, I hope. Mm. Yep, that's it's another magician's me. token. Yeah, the, the one who is harassed by seagulls. Yeah, oh, it's gonna be good. good. Uh, yeah, excuse me. Uh, the entire week. This night, uh, last night was horrible. Took people to fall asleep. They're gonna wake up by idiots being loud. They're gonna wake up from three, three in the morning, all the way to five in the morning. Three, five times by Steve Orchestra. <laughs> okay, you're getting so annoyed that your mic yeah, is going I'm metallic. I am. Alright, sorry. That was it, turn. Please be done. Cooperate. There we go. At least fluctuate in here a bit. Okay. But yeah, was it audible? Uh, yeah, you, it was, uh, you were going robotic. Uh, alright, but yeah. Oh, I mean, people are dead. Yeah. If you speak loud, and from three to five, Seagull Kestra will be three, five times. I think, I think I would like to own one of those pith helmets, but I don't think I would actually put holes in it to look to watch through. It would be <laughs> it would be funny, but it would probably also be ruining a pretty expensive hat. They are supposed to have holes, just not that big. They're supposed to have tight holes. No, I have one. Uh, you're going yeah, robotic again. The bamboo leaves. Okay. And now it's green. Okay, it's a bit temperamental today, it seems. Yeah. 
Bye bye. Yep. Give me on that thing. I really? <laughs> One little. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Did it? I. It did not save me getting this up here. Nope. Okay. Well, let's get that done then. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I actually got. Uh, I actually had a job interview today, and yeah, for once I actually got a direct answer, and it was yes. Finally. Was I don't think it was gold before. Did it, did it save that I found that one after all? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I got the job. So that will be starting in August. It's not the big. It's not That's the best we... job, but it, it's a job at least. But they 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 got the job to train the uh, boars. Oh. Though I would admit that uh, I would like to try the taste of boar at least once in my life. Though I presume it won't taste oh, too much different from it. pig. It's a pretty good game, but it, it can taste... If you prepare it right, it can taste better than pig. Yeah. Uh, that basically counts for everything. If you prepare it right, you can basically make anything tasty. Yeah, but it's very tasty in the beginning, but if you have the right spices, oh, it can melt in your mouth. If it's supposed to be boar, not ice cream. Get me on that thing, or not. Okay, since the voice meter is now finally calm. Okay, that. Okay. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, is there anything more this way? Because there is that. Uh, okay. Why is you can climb on? Yep. <laughs> there we go. That's two out of... What was it? Five or six? Um, the idea. Mm. But yeah, uh, the job does uh, can the job can have days on the weekend, but likely only one a, per week. Oh, hello. Uh, the the other hell are you supposed to be? Right. It just. Uh, but we have to we have to hit this thing right in the kisser. Is that a new or supposed to be in this game? I think it might be original. Again, this is a fan re not remake, but this is a fan version of this game. Uh, like I I've seen uh, I've. I've seen uh, Josh Drive Hayes video on this game, and I definitely don't remember whatever the hell that was being in there. And I'm pretty sure he would have he would have said something about like I, I could have gotten the health pellets, but I will. It's it's kind of disturbing, ain't it? I'm just barely too sure to grab onto that. Hmm. If I remember correctly, Just Drive Hayes partially dis uh, described this game as being partially like a Metroidvania, as in you you could get back you could yeah you could go back to earlier levels with new abilities to get more stuff and such. But that was way too early. 
Almost fell off. <clears throat> but I probably won't be going back to too many levels. Hmm. I do remember something about the original requiring a certain amount or even all of the electoons to be gathered to be able to get the actual ending of the game, but. I'm presuming that won't be a thing in this. <laughs> I hope not, for otherwise. Uh... Yeah, like I said, if this still manages to get too difficult or just get me stuck at one point or another, I will just be willing to just call it quits where that at that point. So we can move on for to Steamboat Heists. Yeah. Reason people, we value we value our sanity. Yeah. Oh, there's the present. And yeah, we've only had uh, one game where we just quit out of anger, or more well, anger and the fact that it was freaking broken. Well, actually, two games which we yeah, quit because mean. it was broken because well, Mon escape from Monkey Island. With that 50-50 chance glitch. And yes, it is five. Five per level. There's a one spot in the middle, though. So maybe six. Maybe that's tags when you collect all the others. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I have had that game where I had a, a game-breaking bug just before the final boss fight. Yeah. Hydrophobia. The water game. And that was the... Yeah. That was supposed to be the... Uh, the patched re-release. So, yeah, again, just extremely disappointing with that game. Because it has... it. The premise and such just has a ton of potential, but they just wasted it by just absolutely not uh, putting in the effort that was required to actually fix it. And that feels like yeah, we can only get really a plan. What must be most is, you feel like they would have fixed that on a re-release, a, a, such a major bug that yeah. if you, if, if I remember, it had a different kind of save slot. So if you had a save just before the boss fight, and you try to restart to uh, avoid the bug. No, you, you can't. The auto yeah, save there we... will screw you over. This yep. is the bug. Yeah, just instant killing you on the checkpoint. Or maybe not instant killing, but basically the same. Uh, it... yeah, basically, we got to a point where it, with it, with it if we tried to get instantly out of the on. checkpoint, we would instantly die, or almost instantly, and really? Okay. I think there might be maybe a third or fourth game, but I just don't remember which ones, but... Yeah, Moki Island was more of a sad we had to abandon due to a bug, for the... for instance... To have a chance to avoid it, you would need to restart the entire game. Yeah. This is kinda... So... Yeah, so, yeah. To be honest, uh, with all the stuff after that, uh, yeah, it was actually for the better that we called it quits on that. Because, yeah. well, like the entire... Oh, that lucky hit on that. But I kind of need that thing to be stationary. Yep, thank you. The entire end of the game would have been depending on just a fuck ton of just randomized stuff. Which you could only find, discover through experimentation. Uh, yeah, which would take for freaking ever with the freaking monkey foo or something. Or monkey All kung right. fu or something. It, Basically, 
with uh, every playthrough of that game you can find online, the, most of the video will be freaking that. So how are we supposed to get there? Huh. Uh, plum? Yeah, I thought we needed to climb on here, but there's not really anything to jump towards. And it doesn't bounce high, bounce high enough to get there, I think. To get us there. Hmm. No, oh, hold on. Hmm. Maybe we can... Actually, I, I probably should have just jumped onto it or something while it was still hanging. So let's get rid of this thing. We, you almost... Almost had it there. Okay, I thought it would respawn once it would end up in the water, but apparently not. Hmm. I guess it's just meant to be used that, for that. Maybe, so maybe lost? not. Let's see if there's anything this way. Missing. If there's something missing something here. Hey. Hmm. Yeah, that that was a tired yawn, not a bored yawn. Hmm. Yeah, I'm tired as well. That. that brings back, brings out the plum here. There you go. It's going to bring us somewhere. Okay, it's bringing us under the platform there. But, oh yeah, we, if it's gold, we've already collected it. So it just gives us things. Hmm. And yeah, I guess we need to get that plum to respawn. Hopefully we've done that by getting far enough off screen. Save. Hmm. Okay. And it does seem it that at like... some point the audio will die if we take too long. They sound like... Creaking armchairs. There it is. Hmm. Okay, so we can't get on there. There we go. Yeah! Just gotta knock it down, jump up, and jump up. <laughs> jump well on it and jump up. Oh, hello. Oh, you are matching my speed. Think. Yeah, if I run, it speeds up. If I stop, okay. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Oh, now we have little hover bastards as well. There's probably something that was hidden below. Oh, but we can actually go check that now. Okay. I thought it would keep chasing. Hmm. If there was a plum somewhere, yeah! I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, there's probably something hidden below that below here. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, skewer, re skewer ready mushrooms. <laughs> you just have to put a skewer through them when they're stacked up. Oh, big boy. Yeah, the, the, the big guys look like they are new. Like they are slapped together from existing assets. We do have a bit of a barbecue coming up soon. Uh, 
I don't really know what to call it, but uh, also it's almost time already, huh? Um, do you in your area have like times where the, an area of the streets gets shut, gets not shut off, but uh, cordoned off for like a, a cycling race? Because we have that happening here soon. And Sometimes. generally when it happens, family comes over to visit and well barbecue. Yeah, I was sure about the barbecue club, but we definitely do sometimes look up when we do have those things. Yeah, I think I might try something with that barbecue. Oh, hello. Oh, that's quite a bit of health. So I know I've heard some of these sound effects before in Jazz Jackrabbit. Oop. Okay, just flying by to drop those. Okay, you only really stop when you are going for a sting. So I've got to wait that out. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, they're, they do bounce high enough to go underneath, though. So I do got to say, these things... Yep, yep, motherfucker. They do look that they, like they would be tasty. There we go. Got you in the middle of your ac uh, action. There, got you be right between the eyes. But then again, with those big things, oh, but a f <laughs> it's not uh, hard to hit you anywhere else. Yep. Ow. Hmm. Yeah, I do get the feeling like spiky fruit like that. It would be tasty once you manage to get around the freaking spikes. So, nice try. Got him before he even got on screen. Oh, now he's speeding up. Go. <laughs> Not too early. Gotta be a bit careful when he stops doing that. Oh. Now, if you gotta blow your nose, you can just take off for a minute. Two more hits. One more hit. Uh, that's not his nose. That's, that's his mouth. Damn it. Okay, some of these fights are going to be a pain. Okay. Yeah, once he closes one eye, that's when he's going to start. We're actually going to stop. There. Oh boy, may I get some proper sleep tonight? For some reason, I imagine that these things would taste spicy. Spicy berries have got me again with that, huh? Got you instead this time. Okay, one more hit, then he starts to speed up. I have no idea what those would taste like. Plum. Probably. Spicy plum. It kind of tastes like uh, yeah, red, early. Uh, I guess you call them croissants? But, oh, not croissants, no, that's a pastry. Red. Uh, red, crazy, whatever. Or something? Uh, red currant? Maybe. We, we, we call them something completely different here. Uh, bean ball. Wineberry. <laughs> okay. Three more hits, one on me. If I could throw a punch upwards, I'd probably be able to nail him. Okay. 
there. Last two. Okay, is he going to catch me off guard again? Nope. Then the big red. There. Yep, and I got him on the rebound. <laughs> Okay, you do not get uh, you do not get pets of friendship like your other brother. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you for releasing uh, releasing us, Rayman. Pink helpers. Okay, these were renamed the Lums in the second game. We are forever grateful and will now help you on your quest. Grab us with your fist to swing and reach new locations. Rayman Zoo sound effects. Okay, I thought we'd actually be done with. We'd get sent back. Up. Now we get sent back to the world map. Timing. Okay. And with that, I'm actually no. We can just move on straight to here to Bandland, the music of which is probably uh -oh. the most well known of this game, huh? Uh, but now instead, uh, uh, yeah, save uh, game. That we never reached that far. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And yeah, that'll be it for Rayman the Redemption for today. Uh, shorter than I'd wanted, but then again, we also got done with Steam World Dig a lot earlier than I thought. <laughs> yeah, mm. I'm still surprised about it. But yeah, we'll continue with this game uh, next week on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, it'll it'll still be a few weeks until I have to start with work. So we can freely stream then, and yeah, it'll it'll only be it'll be normal working hours, so no chances of night shifts or anything like that. So yeah, these evening streams they are fully in the clear. It'll just depend on which day will be a potential work day on the weekends. <clears throat> yeah, so we may end up possibly moving, depending whenever that happens. Yeah. Some of the weekends seem to the evening instead. Hmm. Um, let's see, they they can be open on Sundays, and at the moment it seems like when we get when I get the full time or full work days, that they want to do it to have me work every other day. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, maybe Sunday, then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And repeat from there but we'll have to see if we do get that Oop, that's the timer <clears throat> so yeah we may have to go back we may have to move to one stream per weekend or maybe uh, hmm, maybe what we can do is one long uh, long stream in the weekend whichever is not a work day and then a shorter stream in the evening on the other. Good work. So say I have work on Saturday, we can do a short evening stream and then a long stream on Sunday. <clears throat> and yeah, the other way around in the other case. We'll still have to see how many potential weekend days I would have to work and such. But for now, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me remove the OS on top on the preview and Okay, it's a bit busy, so I'll narrow this down to a few. Let me first change the screen share so that Rakir can see. Go live. Uh, Schwabe is playing Thief the Dark Project, a poorly played rendition of Indiana Jones theme. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Uh, we have Dynalope, who is playing My Summer Car, which is a game that's, well, <laughs> infamous. <laughs> among people who know it. And we have Azra Arcane who is playing the first descendant. And there's also Lazarus playing Grim Dawn. So any of those that you would advise or shall I take a pick? I will really let you take a pick, but I'm so sleepy. My eyes mm. are closed at the moment. 
Okay, um, I say we go give Lash a visit then. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, we are a frequent visitor to them, but they are a frequent enough visitor to us as well. Okay. Copy the name, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Jess, and thank you for watching. And yeah, we. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy us playing, or should I really say us playing this game since it's me playing and you commentating? Uh, hmm. yeah, I don't commentate, I don't commentate, but I also do uh, work as an extra brain. Yeah, let's just keep it that stream this together. <laughs> that way we yeah, can for, uh, I... keep it on that. I do help. I do help uh, when I can. When yeah, I by spotting things that I don't. <clears throat> like, like a positive backseat driver. <laughs> yeah, or advisor. Mm. Yeah, co-pilot. Uh, yeah, thank you as always for joining. And um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> on the weekend Saturday we have uh, we're done with Blast Brigade. So we're getting started on RoboCop Rogue City. <laughs> oh, jeez, me of rogues. We're gonna get so much stun luck. That will probably be... Will potentially be the most recent game for me to stream. I, I think it's been out for a year still, but typically the games we've streamed have been quite a bit older. The only other more recent one that I can think of Oh, at the time that we started streaming would be Dave the Diver, I think. But that's still released like a year or two earlier. Yeah, hmm. Sort of. I guess you can also say with the... Uh, uh, what was the name again? I'm gonna check it. Yeah. Orcs must die free. No, that's we true. tried mm. to play that one, but we had to wait for a while before it to go get stable. Yeah before it was not being held hostage by Epic anymore. Okay. Uh, I, I meant by more like, when we tried to stream, uh, stream not, test it, it kept crashing for me. Yeah, there were, I, I don't remember if it was Epic or just the Ouya bullshit. Oh, the, the Google uh, thing. Yeah. Stadia. Yeah, the, the no, Stadia, first. Stadia. Ouya is something else. That was definitely a stam, you know, stam, scam from what I've heard. Yeah. yeah. It was just on Stadia for one year, then it came on Steam in a very unstable state. Yeah, and then Stadia just collapsed for good reason. Uh, yeah, anyway, enough okay. about all of that. Um, yeah. yeah, let's get this raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Sneak Willow one. See you next time. And watch out for uh, undead seagulls and and two mosquitoes. <laughs> well, well.